Hey guys, I was creating some t-shirt mock-ups this morning and I thought you guys may want to, uh, this might be a video for you guys to see. So, um, what I did is just created basic text design, nothing but text that says best tech ever. And, you know, I could send this over to the customer on an old school t-shirt mock-up, but it just wouldn't have the effect that it has when you put it on an actual photograph. So, you know, it's trying to step up the game on mock-ups. So what I'm going to do is I thought, well, after I did it, I thought, okay, well, what if I wanted to change the color of this? So I'm going to show you how to do that um, using one of my favorite tools, B-Spline. And I'm not going to redo the whole thing, but I'm going to start at this point. Jump over here in Corel, grab that B spline tool, and I'm going to trace the outer edge of the garment. Now, some garments only have, you know, like one, you can do the whole t shirt um, in a single trace, but with this one, it has to be traced in parts because you've got the backpack on both sides, you've got this lady's hair. And things like that and you know you kind of want to take your time and do a decent trace so what I like to do after I do my trace I like to put it in some type of a color so that I can see what I'm working with so I'm going to kind of zoom out and this is basically my trace so I'm going to take off the outline because I don't want any outlines on this. Sometimes that outline makes a big difference when you remove it. Um, there's a couple of different ways to do this, but this is the easiest way. So now, I'm going to select and group everything. Now, you wouldn't have to group it if you know if it was just a single trace, but since this isn't, I'm going to group it. So now I could change this to different colors, but that's not really what I want. I want my t-shirt to look lifelike, to look like it's a real t-shirt. So we can do that very easily. I'm just going to pop over here and go to my transparency tool, click on the design, and I'm just going to move this transparency and make it the color of the red that I want. Easy, right? Yeah. Now, I could just go in and just change that. Boom, boom, boom. And if I wanted to do, pop my design on top of that, it's no problem. Let's get to the front. Now, you notice that it was kind of in between there, if it's to the back, it will take on the color of the t shirt. But now I've got on to the front I've got it locked in and I can just start changing my t-shirt colors anyways um, hope you guys find that interesting and let me show you something else because once you do it you want to go in 